Hello and welcome to a new video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Today we're going to be looking at centre backs that you might want to sign in Football Manager 2017. As you can see here with all of our videos, we have simmed the game up until 2022. This gives you a good idea of what the attributes of these players are going to look like in that period. So we're going to run down some of the players that you might want to sign. Like I said, we're going to give you the idea of the value at the start of the game and what the asking price is. That is what you would expect to pay for them at the start of the game. We're going to start off down the bottom here with this gentleman. His name is Samedo. He's currently playing for Napoli and it looks like around the start of the game he plays for Sport in Lisbon. You can see in his attributes here he's got good tackling good marking and good positioning as well as great physical attributes. At the start of the game, this gentleman is worth 7 million. You could look to purchase him for about 26 million. So he's a really decent shout. He grows into a nice dominating center back. The next guy we're going to look at is this guy here. Vallejo. Not sure how you pronounce that. If I get that wrong, please let me know in the comments box down below. Again, you can see his tackling, his marking, and his heading is great, and his teamwork positioning is also fantastic. Also, this guy has great mental attributes. It's really important in your centre backs that you have good decisions, good concentration, composure is also very good. His strength is also great as well so he's a great little center back that you might want to sign even if you're a top club At the start of the game he's worth five million you can probably purchase him for about 15 million you can see his average ratings here throughout the years are over seven which is always a good sign and yeah he'll be a great little signing for you next up we're gonna look at this guy here Murray or Murray, I'm not sure how you say that. At the start of the game, he's worth five million, and you can buy him for eight million. So he's someone you could look a buy in if you don't have a lot of money. Eight million is an absolute snip for this guy. You can see his position in there and his strength and speed is great. That's a great little centre back for you to have in your team because speed and the strength and everything. You can see his concentration is decent there, and he's got great leadership. So he's someone who could look at maybe developing as a captain for your team or a vice captain. It's always good to have a captain in that defensive position. We've got a few guys here who are a little bit more expensive at the start of the game. So Mustafi, Jones and Stones, John Stones, sorry, for example, and the likes of Varane. These are your world-class centre-backs that are young at the start of the game, but they're also world-class, so they're going to cost you... Um, a lot, a lot of money, upwards of 30, 40, 50 million. This guy here, however, Sewell, or Sewell, again, let me know in the comments box. I'm terrible at pronouncing these things. Great technically defending. I would have reservations about his work rate and his teamwork, for example, but his concentration and everything is great. So he's definitely someone I would look at getting in. Maybe not a top, top centre back for a top, top club, but the description here is world class and you can see through his average ratings that he does put in great performances week in week out this guy at the start of the game is cost 12 million you probably get him for around 19 million pounds so the next guy we're going to show you is this guy probably one of the greatest guys to go for at the start of the game because he's cheap uh lemos will cost you about six million at the start of the game you can see his tackling, his marking, his heading is top notch, as well as his positioning and his concentration and his strength and speed. If you look at his graph here, yeah, that's very good. He's six foot one as well. He can jump, he can head the ball. There's not much more you could ask for. And if we'll have a little look at his average ratings again, over seven, this guy is someone you need to buy straight away. Buy him at the start of the game, £6 million, absolute bargain. Uh, and this guy here then as well, Regani, 27, very similar story, tacking, tackling, marking, heading, all the concentration and decision that you could ask for, and again, very physical. 
He'll cost you a little bit more. He's valued at 13 million at the start of the game. You'll probably get him for around 30. But again, a great little buy. Another little luck here at the Imeric Laporte. Constantly class on Football Manager. Again, he will cost you a little bit more. He's like the Stones. He's like the Mustafis of the game. Even Eric Dyer, I would stick in there, but almost unobtainable. But you can see why they're playing at good clubs and they've got great attributes. So that's my list, guys. Check it out. Pause the video. Search him for yourself. Make some offers. You can't go wrong with any of these players. Thanks very much. See you soon.